subscribe or this will happen to you. <laughs> yeah, you're not subscribed yet? Come on! Before we start this video, please remember to like this video, comment below and keep subscribing because it means an awful lot to us. So today, we're going to go and do some log work, but this video is a little bit different. We're not going to go into depth of doing the log because we've done so many videos. So we're going to show you our warm up um, routine that we do every time we um, do the log press. And then we're going to show you our accessories. Just released the Stolten hat, Stolten beanie. And if you can see the Stolten socks, new Stolten socks. Um, there's also a camo uh, sock on the Stolten Brothers website, stoltenbrothers.com. Unfortunately, we've had to put a hold on all t-shirts, hoodies, etc. because we're out of stock, but they're coming soon. We've got a new design coming. So, we're going to start warming up. Yeah, buddy. Right, let's get into it. We're going to warm up our, our rotator cuffs. Rotator cuffs are one of those aggravated, or they can become very aggravated. Ross from Caledonia Sports Clinic, he's shown us a few exercises just to get warmed up. So, we'll do a few sets. On this, just each arm, there's a few different parts, front delts, side delt, rear delt, so we'll make sure they're all nice and warmed up. Um, and then we're going to go and hit some uh, triceps as well. When we're pressing that lockout, it's very tricep dominant, so we need to just be ready, just to make sure the, the blood's um, firing, or it's all through all the muscles, and we're all nice and warmed up. That's Tommy done. I just want to try and keep my arm parallel to the ground as parallel as I can and I'm just twisting like that so you can see I'm, there's no movement on this this part of my arm that's nice and parallel and just up and down so that just opens up the, the rotator cuff really warms that up as you can see it's not heavy at all we're just wanting to get some blood in it just kind of get that pump feeling this is something that we haven't really shown before so hopefully you guys can learn something and it's also quite good for this Ah, oh, my eye! <laughs> Idiot. Tom's doing some overhead extensions um, just to warm up his triceps. You can see this part of his arm stays still and it's just the, the muscle there. You can see that working nice and swole like Tom is. Resistance bands is one of the best ways to warm up. You know, so you can take a light one like this, like we've got, and then a slightly heavier one. They are a great addition to your gym bag. Obviously you don't take up much space just to have in and um, yeah, just nice and easy to warm up. You don't have to think too much about things. Final movement for our warm ups is just hitting some rear delts. We're just hitting the rear delts here. Um, you can see that nice and tight when Tom's doing it. It's the little muscles that'll let you down. So your rotator cuff, rotator cuff rear delts. You know, these muscles aren't necessarily the biggest groups. They're a weak link in any of, of your armor, so to speak, and that's what's going to let you down. So you really need to look after that and kind of, I think that's the, the benefit of having Ross uh, work with us from uh, Caledon Caledonia Sports Clinic. He's really good, really kind of thorough in us, and he gives us these exercises to do, which is pretty cool. You know, it's quite easy for us to do. It's nothing heavy. It takes us about five, 10 minutes to warm up and then we're good to go, we know all the blood's kind of pumping. You feeling good? Look at the state of it. Vlog's finished, some sets at 160 for freeze tonight, done and dusted. So now we're going to move on to our top accessory work to help you build that massive log press. So our first one is incline barbell press. I don't know if any of, any of you noticed when we're doing our pressing movement with the barbell. Um, it's a little bit different for us because when we're doing log press, we try to keep our elbows quite tucked in, um, which hits our triceps more. So when you'll see when we're doing incline press, bench press, rather than splaying our um, elbows out, which is more pec, um, for pec development, which is you know, bodybuilding kind of stuff. They'll use that for your, your pecs. Um, we'll keep our elbows tucked in and really kind of drive our elbows down and really engage a lot of triceps. So that's what we try to replicate here. So this is 
one of the reasons why we do barbell work kind of mimics that position or that press so when you keep your elbows down really can explode up and fire in your triceps get your triceps working so hopefully you can see it when i'm doing it so the tip is not to splay your elbows if you're wanting to increase your log maybe it'll work maybe it doesn't One, two, three, up, up. so as you can see arms nice and tight elbows tucked in i'll just do one more to so what you'll see maybe on uh, bodybuilders, so that can I see how my elbows are pushed out and then we're using more pec. So that's it nice and in and press as opposed to that position. Instead of doing the barbell, say if you're having a little bit more of mobility issues, your rotator cuffs hurting, uh, your wrists are hurting, we'll switch up to doing some heavier dumbbells. So you can do neutral grip, which takes away all the um, impingement in your rotator cuff. So that's one that we would also swap out. So it's either barbell incline press or dumbbell incline press, depending on how our body's feeling. We've just got to go with our body. We're feeling okay just now, so we're going to the barbell. Maybe next week we might switch it to dumbbell, but that type of movement is all the same. So the principle behind it is very much the same. The dumbbell press as well, it works all your stabilizing muscles. So say if you've got a stronger arm, your right arm is stronger than your left that'll eventually even out. Right, so the second accessory exercise that we do is a combination of both, so it's front and side laterals. To be good at log press, you've got to have strong muscles uh, that we're using. So we're using our shoulder muscles, our delts, front delts, side delts, rear delts. We're using our pecs, we're using our triceps. So we're trying to encompass all that today, and that's what we're showing you today. Accessory two is now lateral raises into front raises. Right now we're doing side raises, which will attack the side delt of the shoulder. Just again, to help with the strength towards log press. The front delt of your shoulder, this is attacking here, filling the shoulder up with blood, and we're hitting shoulders from all angles. So as well as hitting the lateral raises and front raises, we need to hit the back delt, the rear delt. So we're gonna move on to face pulls. So accessory three is face pulls. This will um, again help with an all round Log press, it was just targeting all the shoulder area, as you can see here. Pull it back, squeeze when you get right to your face, bang. And pull it so it's like going towards your nose. There we go. That's all our smaller muscle groups in our shoulders looked after. Front delts, side delts, just at the rears as well. So that's the shoulder components all looked after. We've made sure we've got a nice pump in them. We're doing a bit more heavier weights with that. All good for that. So now we've got to go into the triceps. Again, as we've been saying throughout this video, triceps are quite an important exercise for the log, as I'm sure you're all aware. So we're gonna do some cables, some push downs, really just squeeze at the bottom and make sure we're kind of really contracting the triceps. Accessory five is a overhead one hand tricep extension. With this, you want to only move the top part of your arm, as you can see here with Luke, and keep the tricep as close and tucked into you as you can. This will help with tricep strength and lockout on your log press. So guys, that's the uh, tricep push downs done. Getting the blood in the tricep and getting that squeeze to uh, really contract the muscle. So yep, that's our nice wee exercise is finished. So that's basically what we do to improve our log press. So on a weekly basis, obviously the most important thing is you, you need the log. That's paramount, you know. Um, I can't really express that much. There is obviously different um, different bars you can use, Swiss bar, barbell, as we said, dumbbells if your rotator cuff's feeling a bit more painful in the incline press. So there is other kind of things you can do, but that's bas the basic accessories we do. It might not seem like, like much, but if you keep on being consistent, consistency in log press is key. If I go back to 2014, I was failing a 200, uh, 150 kilo log press at Giants Live show. So it just shows you that if you do keep grinding, keep kind of being consistent in your training, you will improve. I mean, look at this guy, second strongest man in the world. So it doesn't happen overnight. And that's it. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. 
please keep liking, keep commenting, keep subscribing. Please check out the merchandise because there is going to be a few more things added soon. Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe. Smile. And wait for it. Stay spicy. And please keep ringing that little bell. Ding, 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 ding